He's a Vernon native known throughout Texoma as being one of the founding fathers of rock and roll. As Jeremy Garza reports, Roy Orbison will be remembered in his hometown for many more years to come, and it's all thanks to a few local artists. It is a known fact for many Texomans that music icon Roy Orbison was brought up in the town of Vernon and has been a staple ever since. Now, after a year of planning and weeks of work with the help of the Wichita Falls Alliance for Arts and Culture, the Vernon Chamber of Commerce is being flooded with compliments over the new Orbison mural done by local muralist Selena Mice. People who live here, they've commented and they've told me that it's beautiful and they're so glad that some art is like finally making its appearance here downtown. So overall, pretty great and pretty positive and I'm so ecstatic that people love it. Even though Mize had help from other artists in the area, the mural still had its challenges. But the most challenging part for me was probably the, the guitar. I'm not so skilled at inanimate objects, but the face was the easiest part for me. With this being the first large mural in Vernon, Mize hopes it sparks a movement. I hope that people appreciate the arts in a different way and that more murals will pop up downtown and it will give local artists here opportunities as well to get that uh, experience under their belt. Standing 25 feet tall and 100 feet wide, Vernon now has a piece of American history for all to enjoy. Jeremy Garza, KFDX, 3 News. And if you'd like to take a trip down to Vernon to visit the Caruso of Rock, the Roy Orbison mural is located on the side of the Red Ball Boot and Shoe Repair Building just off of Vernon's Main Street there. It was actually a joint project of the Wichita Falls Alliance for Arts and Culture and the city of Vernon. Very nice.